What up, what up world, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna go over part two to getting your music into college radio. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to break down part two to this college radio process. In the first video, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and take a look at that. Um, I talk about how to organize your files, get those things together and get them ready for your college radio submissions. In part two, we're going to finish up um, talking about all of those steps and then show you how to get your music out. So this is going to be pretty intense. So get your papers ready, get ready to take some notes and uh, yeah, let's let, let's get an understanding of it. By the way, if this is your first time coming here, my name is Wordplay TJ. I'm a hip hop artist and producer from Little Rock, Arkansas. And what I do is spread music for the underdog. So I come on here, give you the tips and tricks about the music business as I go through it and grow my career and learn new things. And so I wanted to be able to share that information with you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So when we're thinking about the college radio process, there are some more steps that we want to get into for this second part. So we're thinking about sending our music. Now that you've got the files together, you need to gather the station information and get ready to send your music out. That means that you're going to have to create a radio contact list. I've uh, got that ready for you and put that down in the, the description as well. Um, I'm selling this whole entire package um, for you to be able to put that together. And that list is included in that package. You want to prepare your budget. Make sure that you have enough funds to be able to do this campaign. Order CDs or make them by hand. Uh, you want to gather your packing supplies, envelopes, and, and labels and things of that nature. And then you want to email or mail your music to the stations because some stations take submissions digitally. Um, other stations still take them via snail mail. And so uh, you want to be able to be uh, have both systems prepared and ready to go. So let's jump into the contact list. So this contact list means that you should have all of the stations ready. And this, by the way, this is for people in the US. So so don't get um, been out of shape if I don't have things ready for the UK or other places in the world. I just am not there. So I'm not that knowledgeable about it. Um, you must start with a contact list for all stations in the United States. Download my guide available on my website. It is uh, in the description again. And then work through that list to identify stations that you would need to email or mail packages. Um, so I've done my best to update this list, but this list may be out of date with current information because the turnover in college radio stations is very consistent. And so uh, you want to make sure that you update this contact list as you go through it. Next thing is to prepare your budget. It is not necessarily cheap to do a college college radio campaign. So you got to be ready for that. College radio campaigns are less expensive than major radio campaigns, but that doesn't mean that you can, you kind of like cut corners and, and do that type of thing with your budget. So the, the great thing about your budget is that you're able to kind of break it up into pieces. You can order CDs one month, you can order packing supplies the next month and then you can ship everything on the final month. So uh, breaks like winter break and summer break give you the opportunity to kind of spread that uh, process out over several months. And that's what I recommend if you want to get into college radio. If we're looking at this page right now, so it's about $200 for CDs, $25 for the mailers, $10 for labels, and then the shipping costs. Um, there's also um, printing costs, which means that you might have to buy a printer or uh, buy ink for that printer in order to make labels or get them uh, get the labels made somewhere else. You can also Sharpie on the on the envelopes, but um, make sure you do it in the right format. Um, the format would be like a standard letter, uh, being able to to put that um, address and the return address on those packages. So this is the top end budget. There is also a low end budget if you do it yourself. So if you want to make things by hand, you could save maybe about 100 to $150 
um, on the entire cost of, uh, of, of this setup. Um, it's recommended that you order at least 100 CDs. Um, you can make them by hand, reduce the cost, but you'll need blank CDs, you'll need a CD burner, you'll need CD labels, a stamping tool, sleeves, and you need a printed album cover that's at least four inches by four inches. And you can print those all on one page. Um, one eight and a half by 11 sheet will hold four, um, four uh, album covers. So packing supplies, you can order those from a place like Amazon or you could go uh, down to Office Depot or some, some other store like that. And you would need about six by 10 bubble mailers. They look like this. So this is what a, the bubble mailer looks like. And then you need mailing labels. Uh, those mailing labels um, are usually pretty, pretty small. You can buy some larger ones that'll fit onto that uh, bubble mailer and then you stick it on once the addresses are printed on there. So the last step in this process is that you either email or mail your music. Stations will take your music either by email or mail. Um, you'll need to review the notes in the contact list and to email you do the following. You use the BCC field in your email address. Um, you use the sample email that I include in the radio package. Um, and then you add a Google Drive link or OneDrive link to your college radio folder. And uh, the setup for that college radio folder is in the last video, part one to this series. Uh, be willing to follow up about two to three weeks after sending your email, but don't expect college radio supervisors, music supervisors to respond right away or at all. The reason is, is because they're busy and they're usually college students. So they have a lot going on and that means that they won't always reply to your message. That doesn't mean they don't, they, they won't get it. It doesn't mean that your music won't make it into the station. It just means be patient, be a little persistent and um, follow up politely. So if you're going to mail any of your information to uh, these stations, you wanna use the address on the contact list. You want to insert your CD, your one sheet, and your letter into the bubble mailer. You wanna have that entire package ready to go. And then when you go to your local post office, you wanna use the media mail service. It's the cheapest service. It's about, I think, $2.80. Um, which means that your shipping cost, if you've done uh, like 100 uh, mailers, maybe 50, maybe, you know, you can split it up. You can like kind of slowly stagger out how many you send per month so you don't break your budget. But uh, all in all, if you do 100 CDs, it's about $300. You want to follow up one month um, after the semester starts. So you want to send it out right before the semester gets cracking and then follow up a month after the semester starts. And that means that most of your follow up time is probably going to be in October or um, in, let's say, I don't want to give you March because that's spring break for a lot of a lot of schools, but maybe uh, February or April. So if you have any questions about this entire process, I would like for you to book a consultation with me. I'm giving 20% off of all of my consultation. If you use the discount code book 20 um, in the uh, in the link. And so the um, I'll put a link down in the description to all of my consultations. It's wordplaytj.com slash rise um, for you to book a one hour session. I'll break down any other questions that you may have it doesn't have to be about college radio but it can be um, and then you'll get a custom plan for the next six months to work on your independent music journey I don't do the work for you but um, if you're ready to do the work then I can guide you in the right direction so that's it if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section I appreciate you watching this video and until next time it's your homeboy wordplay TJ peace Running with the fo fo meter when the test when the fo fo meter not a thing when I throw my feet up better call up Peter Prefer a nice coat to a heater Lying when you stunning on the main Swerve I'ma take another lane Stunning like a bird to the main You're on the verge of the range Nigga superb with the pain Boy you got a nerve to complain Never did occur to a lane when I stepped and I just might pop Stop Make it stir with the